Hey everybody, Paul here back with Chroma Squad. So I know it's been a while since I uploaded a new video of this. Actually, it was a week ago. Right? Yeah, a week ago. Um, but I'm going to be going back to doing this again the way I used to. But so yeah, let's get started with uh, this first level, Real Evil. Listen up, everyone. Apparently, Dr. Miha wasn't bluffing. He did go to the court. How rude. He wrote on Face album that were a carbon copy of his studio, which is so lame. He doesn't know anything about our show and just wants easy money. It might be a good idea to record it, so I'm bringing cameras, like a documentary or something. We must see the judge in a few moments, so we might want to get going. Based on the distance, we can just walk there. Right on, let's move. This walk took longer than I expected. I got my calculations wrong. Too bad you had to sell your car, R5D401. Let's just make a run for it. The building's right over there. Hello, fellows. Wait a second. Who are you? Oh, I have so many names. And we don't know a single one. Call me... J. Milton. Behold, as I send you out a sheep amidst the wolves. Wait, what? Who are the wolves? Me and some of my friends. Sup? Hey, ya! This is crazy. We're in the middle of the street. Do you work for Dr. Mia? We share a common employer. Actually, think of this as a special episode for both of our shows. <laughs> Glad I brought the cameras then. This looks way more fun than court. You are such a bully, Jay Milton. Just like Dr. Mia. I have been looking into this for far too long. Stop bullying people because you can't do anything good by yourself. Let me do their great things. Whoa, I'm not sure who you are, but I definitely like to. So we meet again, Awakened Dragon. The Champion of Justice is back, and I've trained much more than ever before. Vanity definitely my favorite sin. This bully needs to be stopped right now! Awakened Dragon, what a cool guy! J. Milton, prepare yourself! So, director's instructions with defeat boss monster with a finishing move, and defeat three enemies in the same turn. Ah, <sighs> so I'm back, and I have started a new series, if you haven't seen it yet. It's a great series, I'm in love with it right now. Uh, it's Splatoon, I'm doing the single player right now. And I am going to be uh, finishing that probably sometime soon, because it's not that long. Which kind of sucks, I wish it was longer, but oh well. And let's attack you. But yeah, uh, if you haven't seen that series, go watch it. It's so much fun. Like, it, it, it's a great new Nintendo IP. And I'm so happy for it. And now we have to fight Jay Milton. So let's chromatize. So this is going to be um, oh, maybe a little bit longer episode. 
because I'm going to be uh, doing everything but the finale. So, yeah. Let's bring you here. Bring you here. Bring you here. And can we do a weapons attack? Yes, we can. Awesome. So we already got a finishing move in. <laughs> and Kablooey! Oh, we defeated the devil. But like I said, these the, I'm just gonna do these three. It might not even take that long because like that was really quick. Uh oh, I skipped something. Wow. So 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 it is true. The devil has many faces. You need to take care of this by yourselves, Karma Squad. Now I must leave to my Japanese class. I can't let my students wait. Thank you, Awakened Dragon. Good luck, Chroma Squad. Now it's time for our Chromasaur. Chromasaur, activate! Uh, so yes, we are going to be doing a lot more Chromasaur battles. And uh, I have upgraded our Chromasaur a little bit. So he looks really cool. And he's really powerful. And wow, that was awesome. And now, and again. Let's get a, a, one of these in. And then we can use our uh, uh, one of our new finishers with the mech. Which is the Chroma Beam. And it's a burst from the chest. And that was a really easy fight. <laughs> like, that was insanely easy. But that's fine. You know what? That, that's, that's quite alright. <laughs> and we got some new materials. And we got some more money. Yay for money! Yay! And let's read oh no nope. never mind oop we have to change our marketing okay so what I usually like to do is find whichever one uh, gives me income conversions like this one see so yeah, it says plus 15 income conversion I don't know exactly how it works but uh, I just know I get a lot of money when I when I use those if you guys know cool um can't craft anything. Oh. I can make a plastic helmet. Or uh, make some taco down now. I'm gonna keep the paintball gloves. Um is there anything I can craft? Oh, I can craft another one of these. Let's give that to, yeah, R5D401, because he has the, he's the weakest. And I think I'll buy a pack, um, I'll buy this. Hopefully I get some duct tape. And I do. So I can craft another one of these. I can craft actually two of those. Um, give it to Deny. Get the last one to jet. And might as well buy one more pack. Hopefully get at least two duct tapes. Yes. And then we can craft one more pair of the leather gloves to give to Lee. Now, go to recycling and recycle all this stuff. <laughs> See if we can get anything from all this. And so far, not so much. <laughs> and there we go. Now, there's one thing I want to check in the shop. No. 
Okay, never mind. Wait, how does this look? No, and this. Ooh, wow, it makes her attack go up a lot. I'll add that. Okay, so now Denai is really powerful. And then we can record our next episode, which is for the Horde! Robo Squad, are you prepared for some gravel trouble? Gravel? Sure. There's an issue happening in the area where those new buildings are being constructed. Looks like workers are being attacked by other workers. Attacking each other? That's so weird. Is that a haunted area or something like that? I believe it is not the... You should take a better look at it. These workers are in danger. We definitely need to pay them a visit. Go now, Chroma Squad. As Chroma Squad got into the construction site, things started to happening. Rage. Rise walkers. Their meat is fresh. Zombie episode? Do people still like zombies? The zombie costumes were hugely discounted, so we just went with that. This time our food won't have time to run away. Attack. So we have to keep all over here standing and defeat four enemies in the same turn. So that's actually really easy. And it's another one of these ones where we have to stay alive for a certain amount of turns. So, yeah, it kind of sucks in that way. And... Do that. And attack! Oh, wow, he gave us a lot of stuff. And then attack you. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of stuff from these guys. Oh, no, nope, nothing from him. Oh no! They're coming for me! To eat my brains! Ow! Ow! Oh, nope, I dodged. Oh, nope, but he still got me. <laughs> Let's. I don't want to chromatize yet. So I'll just keep attacking. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward now. Okay, there we go. All finished, finally. <laughs> we are Chroma Squad. This gravel ain't yours. Go back to where you belong. Is this the boss? It looks just like the others. You could not afford a different zombie costume, Jet. 
All these extras we had to hire will impact our lunch budget already. It's looking great, everyone. Let's get back to our lines. With my students, I saw him. You bounty you like I did to those other workers. You size? I hate it when they say things like these things, but I love using our chromosome. Over the horizon, look, there it is! Chromosaur, activate! Yay! Now we get to do this again. Woohoo! Punch! Oh, I missed. Oh, wow, I got a perfect. Awesome. Oh, no, just a great. Awesome. There we go. Now let's get another one more hit. Let's use the sword strike. And then we'll finish him off by Hitting him like twice and then using the chest burster. Well, the chroma beam, but still. I like to call it the chest burster. Woohoo! Okay, one more episode. Actually, I want to see what this next episode is. Depending on what it is, I might save it to do it with the finale um, next episode. So, let's check that out. Wow, we made a lot of money with that one. <laughs> What's the next one? Uh, oh, this one's easy. I'm just going to do that one really quick. Um, yeah, let's just go. Oh, no, we have to reply to our messages first. Um, Good day, dogs. I have an OP shop in Whoop Whoop Land in the middle of Australia. Uh, Australia's out there. And I, li and I like to sell you my wares. My uncle biters are hungry and uh, anchor biters, and I need to feed them. Would you be interested in some trackies? I don't get a word you say, but I'll buy something. Sure, why not? Ace, I'm grinning like a shop fox here. Some of my wares already arrived for you. I don't know how to do an Australian accent, so. And they are pretty stiffy. Give it a burl. Hooroo, mate. See you next. See you next time. So we got some stylish boots. Awesome. Hello, lover, lovely superheroes. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Fred. I work at a company called TV New Horn. Uh, but you can call me Gaga. I like it better. I would like to offer you our services in audience boosting for your Squadron S TV show. We are efficient professionals, and we have competitive prices, but... Since I'm a huge fan of your show, I will let you test my services during your next season for free. Please let me know. I'm really interested in your work. For real. Downing whether fake or not, accept it, or what? For free? Sure. Let's do this one. <laughs> Amazing, really. Within the next weeks, I'll visit your studio to install the Audience Booster 9.0, one of the, uh, our most advanced devices. Don't you worry about it. The equipment and installation fees are on us, and it runs on open source code that you may find, in you, uh, find if you take a look online. I can even provide you with the URL as proof that I'm not a scammer. Check it out right now. You have some new fans. Okay. Thank you. And we can get 35 more fans per episode. Awesome. Okay, so let's finish off with the monster portals. Narrative diagnostic is completed. Complied. No issues were found. Test, test, test. Okay, our narrator feature is back on track. Sorry for messing it up. Roma Squad Narrations feature is wholly operational. 
and it can still can't spell properly, but I guess we all just got used to it at this point. Why did we choose to record an episode on the rooftops when the temperature is so high, Claude? Because it's better when it's raining. Let's go. What? Okay. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Roma Squad arrive at the rooftop and some strange portals were all around. I think I didn't get the script for this part. What are we supposed to say? Improvise like this. Don't let them get any closer. We can overrun them. Monsters appeared to defend the portals. Or did they just follow Chroma Squad? Looks like we're surrounded, and the only option is fighting our way out. Awesome! Minions are not our only problems yet. Hey, I. Wow, I. <laughs> Look! What are these things? Portals! And to survive, they will need to destroy these, those portals that keep bringing monsters to them. Will they be able to do it in time? That answers my question. Thanks, narrator. What? Who's this guy? Wait a second. You're not in script. Who are you? Does it really matter? I'm here to check if everything is going according to plan. See you later. Uh, that was weird. What do we do now? As soon as the portals are destroyed, we can move on to the next scene. So we have to defeat 10 enemies and heal 250 health. So the best way to do the health is... I think she's... My, yeah. So what I'm going to do first is bring you and attack. And then have you move here. Teamwork. Have you move here. And then teamwork. You move here, then teamwork. Then have you move in here and teamwork. Which um the assist whenever they are in teamwork next to another character, they heal. Uh every character that is near them in the teamwork. So you already have 154 out of 250, which is really good. Okay, so we can do that. We can actually destroy this portal. Or not. Uh, I guess it's a tough portal. Honestly, I think if I go to attack it with Claude, it's not going to do much of a difference. And see, we already uh, did the heal 250, which was really easy. All because of that little trick, which is really nice, actually. I like that trick. And now we should be able to chromatize. And now I can just beat them all up. So we can attack you. We'll have you come over here so you can destroy this portal a little bit. Have you destroy this guy. Or not destroy him. That, that too. <laughs> Got him. And now him. Okay, now it's their turn. Ooh, got a nice counter. Oh. oh. Ow. Ugh. Okay. So. Let's have you go right here. Have a square house kick. Really, that didn't destroy the portal. Okay, and that's fine. Um, let's have you attack this one. Let's have you right here. You destroy that one. Let's have you attack this one as well. And now I should be able to win next turn. Okay. So 
So let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, let's go straight to R5 D401, and there we go. Destroy the last portal. And Chroma Squad saves the day once again. But wait a minute, where did those portals, these portals come from? And where did that monster come from? I could spend all day just beating up those new minions instead of destroying the portals. The portals were a nice addition to the episode, I guess. What about that tiger? No idea. Costume was too good to be someone from Dr. Miha's studio. <laughs> you got that right, R5G401. Well, at least we recorded a fun episode. Like I said, this was going to be a short episode. Uh, this was a short, like, final episode before the finale, which I'm going to be doing on Friday, actually. So that should be a lot of fun. And we have two uh, emails to read, so... This is my second warning. You clearly ignored my first one. Please be careful. Okay. Hello, Chroma Squad. How are you doing? Quick intro. My name is Chris Shell. I'm a video game programmer and also super fan of Sentai anime tok tokusatsu and etc. I believe I have some sort of power that allows me to have great intuition. I might be a superhero, but for now I'm just a game developer. Anyway, I have this feeling that you will soon fight a TV monster and something might go extremely wrong. I know that sounds creepy, but I'd like you to stay alert, just in case you need some help. I've got some great problem-solving skills that might come in handy if the worst happens. Um, free stalker slash bodyguard? It's a deal. No, I'm not a stalker, lol. Don't get me wrong. All I know is that I had this feeling, and I want to help you. Thanks for the opportunity. I won't fail you, Chroma Squad. Okay, so now, next, we're going to be doing the season finale, but not today. That's going to be on Friday. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite this video. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Bye.